Welcome to Clash of the Coasts, a Surf Channel original series that pits two surf crews against each other in a series of challenges. I'm your host, Charmaine Azure. Representing the East Coast is Team Nub TV, three brothers and their crew from New Jersey who live the epic lifestyle. Their YouTube channel, Nub TV, boasts over 180,000 subscribers, all of whom tune in for their surfing, stunts, and lifestyle. And on the West Coast, California locals from CSU Channel Islands is Team Surf House. Team Captain Austin Finley is sponsored by Super Sticks, Revolution Surf Co., and is a flow rider for O'Neill. Before graduating, the guys established the surf club at their university. Each episode will have a surfing challenge. Some episodes include a pre-challenge. Winning a pre-challenge earns a team one point. Winning a surf challenge earns a team two points. Whoever has the most points by the end wins. Now let's meet the two crews. My name is Ben Gravy. I'm 27 years old and I'm a professional surfer from New Jersey. I look at myself as kind of like the team manager. I'm trying to keep everything together. I'm trying to keep everyone's head together. Ben Gravy, East Coast legend. Known for his airs and just gnarly maneuvers and surfing in very unique spots. That guy surfs in the bay more than he surfs in the ocean. Semi-pro for, a, I don't know, a handful of companies on my right hand and then one or two on my left hand. I ride for Superbrand, Hyperflex Wetsuits, and Heritage Surf Shop. He's probably the only guy on the team that might not be replaceable. This is the crew. It's uh, me, my two brothers, Ben and Hob, and our good friend Rob Kelly. Rob Kelly, Ocean City legend. Yeah, I grew up competing against Rob for years. We battled it out. Pro surfer, pro <laughs> kook, <laughs> pretty much. I kind of got in this crew mostly from being friends with Ben and competing with him. Him and his brothers, I, they've always been super tight-knit. They've always been doing funny stuff, surfing together, and uh, it's, you can just tell that it's fun to be around. He's one of those guys that will put everything he has into something and go the extra mile to uh, make sure that it's a success. It's like going on trips with Ben and hanging with the brothers and just doing funny stuff and uh, just kind of living in their world, it's pretty funny. Never a dull moment, that's for sure. Other guy on the team is my older brother, the amazing Hob. He's the modern day Spicoli. I'm the new age Spicoli. Faster and higher. Faster and way higher. Just super high the whole time. My job on this crew is to just keep a smile on everybody's face and keep it interesting. He's always out there on a retro board surfing single fin. He loves surfing beaters and uh, he throws down hard. Like seriously, with everything he does. Stunts, surfing, the whole deal. He's an animal. Final teammate, we got Tucker F. Upper, my younger brother. Really hard worker as well. He's just a causer of mayhem. Yeah, boys! <laughs> He's actually been the one that's shining through and, and helping me out more than anybody else because, uh, God, this team some days, whoo! His job on the team is just, uh, just to get out there and shred, you know, his immaculate style and flow. I started surfing here in Longport when I was about seven or eight years old, right, just right down at the end of our street. He's into it, works hard, he loves to film, he loves to get work done. Then we got some fill-ins, because uh, we had some injuries on our team, some injury cards. We never know what's going to happen, because the way we get hurt around to here, like, people drop out of the crew. So yeah, we got two substitute servers, two little groms. We got Nick Brady. Kid throws down hard, he shreds, he's the king of the Brayback, that's the Brady layback, and that's pretty much all he does, but uh... When put in the right situation, I think he can help us out a bunch. We got Paris Iganis, AKA Gaines. He's another local ground that's trying to come up, but he put on that freshman 15 recently, so he's been surfing a little slower. His airs are a little lower, but he's coming in with the power. He kind of looks exactly like Ben and acts exactly like Ben, like he's a total chotch. So we just brought him on because he was like his perfect stunt double. We also got the Beach Buzzard rocking it. Call 1-800-BEACH-BUZZARD. I don't miss clips. Mr. Frank Chase, he uh, doesn't miss apparently, even though I've seen him miss like a million waves, but uh, his claim on the gram is that he doesn't miss, so uh, I'm sticking with it. We're East Coast, we're gutter, we have jobs. Like, we don't just walk around with stickers on the noses of our boards like, yo, you guys wanna like sit on the beach for nine hours? We're just like, yo, you guys trying to squeeze in a 20 minute session because I gotta go to work. <laughs> 
crew, uh, commonly known amongst our peers as the surf house. Our environment's pretty interesting. You know, I'm, it's a dynamic that works. Oh my God, dude, it's like a frat without having a frat. It's the coolest thing ever. A lot of the time, you know, I have them pounding on my door at 7.30, 8 a.m., just frothing, ready to surf. We'd go Thursday through Saturday, which is kind of, it's kind of difficult. And they'd be like, let's go surf. Let's go do this. Let's go have a couple beers. And I'm like, bro, I got calculus homework due on Monday. These guys have a lot of energy. It's kind of hard to balance it, but it's at the same time, it's fun, man. It's a nonstop party. So we got me. Uh, no, I shouldn't start with me. You don't start with yourself. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna start with. Uh, Who am I? My name is Joey Lees. Uh, I'm 23. Only <laughs> 22. <laughs> next month. I keep thinking I'm 23 because it's next month. He's a good kid. He's just got like, you know, very mindset. He's pretty focused. We all know him as a grump now. I, I tend to be like the grandpa, I guess people call me. But he was actually the first person I met, the most welcoming, and I was pretty kooky back in the day. Before I really got into it, I wouldn't surf that much. I would just go like one or two mornings a week. And uh, my dad's like, if you're from St. Winnie and you don't surf, people are gonna think you're weird. So he started paying me a dollar every time I would go surf. And then I think after the third or fourth time, I didn't, I was just like, all right, dad, you don't need to pay me anymore. Like, I'm, I just love it. And then, so then we got Chase. My name is Chase Stavron. Born in South Orange County, raised in San Clemente. I started surfing at the age of four. Surfs shreds, he just uh, he sleeps a lot. Um, so do I, but he's probably more of a sloth than I am. He's he's like a little sloth. Every time he's just like, a, like yesterday, he slept for like 10 hours, but then he still just laid in his bed all day because he, he had like a, a hard night or something. Can I eat this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he charges the hardest out of any of us. He's gnarly. Um, Level-headed, calm, mellow, so it's really funny because as soon as he enters the water, uh, it's a totally different story. He's he's a good guy. He's always he's always the one that will go out on anything. Then we got Keegan. There he is. Keegan is the ultimate frother. Keegan's like probably the most genuine dude I've ever met in my entire life. You know, he's just very raw. You probably haven't met a nicer person. My name is Keegan Carico, 22 years old. As a surfer, he's really progressed in the last like two years, like exponentially more than like most people I've seen. I actually grew up playing basketball. I ran into some health problems, so I couldn't play basketball anymore. I had heart surgery when I was a little kid. So, heart of gold. Damn, dude. Yeah, what's up? Love it. And it's a Neil Young song, so. Even though I'm very optimistic, I'm very also competitive on the inside. So I needed something to just, you know, self-improvement. It's like, so I picked up surfing really seriously and it just took off from there. Last but not least, we have Austin, Mr. Finn. Austin Finley, that's my boy right there. Same as Keegan, Austin's got a lot of energy. My name is Austin Finley, I'm currently 22 years old. Okay, so we met at orientation. I looked at him and he looked at me, we were just like, all right, you look like you, sir. where are you from? Del Mar, oh, you're from St. Clemente. All right, let's be best friends, let's live together. I can honestly say that guy's like my brother, I love him to death. I guess you could say I'm an artist and a surfer and that's pretty much it. You kind of just have to like talk to me to figure it out. That's kind of lame. He's a fun guy to have around the house. A lot of good nights because of that dude. I uh, definitely progressed mainly because of him. I mean, he's the one who told me a lot of things, what it takes to get better. There's a point in a surfer's life where it's like you dedicate getting better or like something or like want to go every day. And that happened when I was like 14. I'm mean, gonna try to go like at least, you know, close to 300 times a year. That's my whole surfing gig right now. Welcome back to Clash of the Coasts. This episode's challenge is the party wave. All four members have to stand up and ride a wave together. Points for duration, difficulty of wave, and style. Each team will have one chance and 20 minutes to complete the challenge. Let's take a look. Today, we're gonna go out there and do our whole party wave scene. All right, so challenge number one, this is the party wave. We have four members on the team, so that means we're gonna try and get all four members on one wave. Damn, we still need to pick a, pick a place to go. I don't know, I need, uh, we need to find like a long point break that we can all like fit on. And I think this party wave is gonna be a testament of how we work together as a team. You know what I like about it is, is we're not going out there uh, trying to surf at our best and you know, competing against each other, but we're competing in a different way and that we're having fun with and that we could all do. It's a tough challenge to do in the waves that we're given here on the East Coast. This is basically like one two foot wind slop, so real short period, 
not really a, a long line to the wave at all. So even just to fit four guys on the way is going to be a challenge. I, I couldn't be more excited for, for this comp, like competition, this contest. Yeah. Nothing better than that. You know, when we're all in the lineup together, it's, it's all just good vibes. It has to go down the right way or we're not going to be able to, to pull this off. I feel like we could do it. All right, we're heading down to the beach right now. It is not that warm out, but there's a little wave, so we should be able to knock these challenges out and uh, take this thing down for the boys. Your truck doesn't even fit in this spot, Turner. This is Kelly. All right, we got our boards out of the car. We're heading down to the beach to surf the party wave. It's kind of on. We're the team. Mm -hmm. The problem is, though, it's always on. It's always on. That's the problem. Time for this? For what? Well, Not for these waves. <laughs> East Coast versus West Coast. This isn't a good showing here, but we're gonna make it work, dude. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> you're a stuck god, actually. <laughs> All right, the whole crew's down here on the beach. We got 15 to 20 mile an hour wind, north crazy going on. But we're gonna go out there for the party wave. This is gonna test how much teamwork we can work together. We got 20 minutes to complete this challenge, and it's going down like the babies. The clock starts now. So we get out into the lineup, the whole crew's out there, the hype's up, we're looking around, we're trying to find the right set, and we just see this bathing beauty coming in out the back. The waves were pretty choppy, we had like a northeast wind, kind of all over the place, definitely not your ideal waves to surf as it is, let alone try to get four guys on the same wave at the same time. We head out into the lineup, and basically instantly right off the bat, there's a set out the back, and all the boys are paddling out. We see it, we're like, damn, there's the set already. Three minutes in, two minutes in, we're already on a wave. And I'm paddling, I see Tuck, I have to weave around him, but we all take off at once. Four guys, one wave, we're looking at each other like, yeah, we're killing it right now, it's on. Everybody was cruising. I think Rob might've done a 360 air, Turner might've done a 360, Ben might've done a chop hop, and I was just doing shakas the whole time, left, right, chaka. Hob did a backflip off his board and I, Somehow was able to grab his board and then ride swap boards and ride that one in. I don't really think we could have done a better job for the conditions that we were given. It was extremely challenging conditions and we kind of pulled it off. Like all four surfers on one wave, uh, party wave challenge, done, complete. 
Uh, so today the plan was we were just gonna go out, uh, you know, shoot the party wave. And I'm looking at Austin, and then there it was. You know, the day started out as, as any other. We got our coffee, our donuts, went surfing. Before we even paddled out, we're sitting in the parking lot. Some old man comes out to us and he's like, yeah, one of my buddies got chased out of the water by a shark on Saturday. It was circling him. Maybe made us a little on our toes, which is okay, because as soon as we got out there, it was like, maybe caught like two waves. I just heard Keegan go, oh my God. And it was going about parallel to the wave and towards Austin. We never got to do the party wave. We got chased out of the water by a shark. Just doesn't normally happen in Southern California, but it did today, of course. We're all sitting kind of scattered, but in the same group. I see just the tip of the, the fin go right in between us all, and I'm like, everybody get out of the water. And they're like, oh my God, are you serious? Are you serious? I'm like, yes, believe me, get out of the water. Hey, what was up there? What? There's a big ass shark. Well, not big, but big enough to freak me out. <laughs> we didn't get the party wave. <laughs> Everyone else was going in. I was like the last one. It's like, oh, great. But I couldn't see it. The water's pretty murky, so it was kind of sketchy. As I was paddling out, I saw two two fins, but then about five minutes after that, I, uh, I saw a pot of dolphins. So I was like, all right, no worries. Like, it's fine. And then this freaking big ass fin is goes right in between Keegan and Austin, so he's bolted out. We couldn't log any footy. We didn't get the party wave. Shark had uh, other ideas, I guess, for our day. <laughs> I guess they saw something chasing me. I don't know. Oh, I was too close for comfort. Oh, a little weird, I guess to say. I've never been chased out. Well, I've never been chased out, but I don't know I think I've ever been in a situation where it was coming at me. That close. I've seen one before, but never like by myself with two of my other friends in the water. <laughs> the thing is just like coming at him and doesn't like really like go at him, but it goes towards him and then like cuts around like two, three feet away from him. And then the wave came and we all got kind of pushed in. I've never been in that scenario. Like I've seen a shark just once out here previously, but it was a little guy. Ruined the party wave because we barely had any time to get a chance to attempt it. <laughs> Just see like this little fin barely out of the water, but this big goes like right in between all of us. I'm like, that's a shark, get the hell out of the water. We're not chancing it, we're so over that. Oh God. Unfortunately for this challenge, the teams were only given one chance to complete it. The East Coast is generally at a disadvantage for having smaller and less consistent waves. But the cold water in the Atlantic Ocean means less shark hazards. West Coast was not able to complete the party wave, meaning the East Coast walks away with two points and a win for episode one. Next time on Clash of the Coasts. Today, we're shacking up the kooks. Okay, so the plan is we're gonna dress up like kooks and get smashed into the sand. Our objective today for this challenge is to get the kook gear, get barreled, take this thing down. Back in 2005, I was surfing Rocky Point on the north shore of Oahu and had my closest encounter with the shark.